Janet Jackson and Wassam Almana, a Qatari businessman, were in a relationship for almost six years, despite huge differences in age, culture, and religion. Their union brought them a son, and Janet even changed her religion to Islam for her husband. Many wondered how the couple dealt with each other after their marriage. Why did they end up divorcing? And how did it affect their son? Let's delve into this mind-blowing story. Janet Jackson, the iconic pop star, known for her captivating music and dynamic performances, has a life story that extends far beyond the stage. Among the many chapters in her life, one that stands out for its emotional depth and unexpected twists is her relationship with Qatari billionaire Wissam Almana. Janet Demita Jackson was born in 1966 in Gary, Indiana. She was the youngest of 10 kids in the Jackson family. Her mom played clarinet and piano and wanted to be a country singer. Her dad, Joe Jackson, used to box and worked at U.S. Steel. Janet grew up with two sisters and six brothers. The Jacksons were Jehovah's Witnesses. When Janet Jackson was young, her brother performed at the Jackson 5 in Chicago Gary. In 1969, they signed a deal with Motown and quickly got her first hit song. The family then moved to Los Angeles. Janet and her sisters performed at the MJM Casino in Las Vegas when she was seven. She also started acting on the Jacksons show in 1976. In 1977, she got a big role in the TV show Good Times. She was also on A New Kind of Family, had a recurring part of Different Strokes, and acted in Fame too. Janet originally wanted to be a horse racing jockey or entertainment lawyer, but ended up considering a career in entertainment after recording herself in the studio. When she was 15, her dad and manager helped her get a deal with A&M Records. Her first album, Janet Jackson, came out in 1982. Even though it wasn't promoted much, it reached number 63 on the Billboard 200 and number 6 on the R&B chart. Her second album, Dream Street, was released two years later. It reached number 147 on the Billboard 200 and number 19 on the R&B chart. The main song, Don't Stand Another Chance, got to number 9 on the R&B singles chart. Both albums were mostly bubblegum pop music. After her second album, Jackson stopped working with her family because she wanted to escape her dad's control. She then joined forces with producers Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis to make her third album, Control, which came out in February 1986. The album quickly reached number one on the Billboard 200 and sold over 10 million copies worldwide. Critics praised the album for being bold and mature, offering a fresh sound compared to the usual radio hits. They compared it to Donna Summer, who also refused to be typecast and paved her own way to success. Janet has sold a lot of records, over 100 million, making her one of the biggest music artists in the world. She's been recognized by Billboard as one of the top artists of all time and a leading figure in R&B and hip-hop music. She even has a star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame and a spot in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Janet first secretly got married to James DeBarge in 1984 when she was 18. James was a singer in the R&B group DeBarge. However, his abuse of drugs caused issues for the couple. When Janet couldn't take it anymore, they ended their marriage with an annulment in 1985. DeBarge was later found guilty of having illegal drugs in 2011. In 2014, DeBarge was arrested again for allegedly having methamphetamine. After splitting from DeBarge, Janet met and started dating Rene Elizondo Jr. in 1987. They dated for four years before secretly getting married in 1991. During their time together, Elizondo Jr. helped Janet with her music, and they wrote 37 songs together. However, by the late 90s, their marriage fell apart. They divorced in 2000, and Elizondo Jr. sued Janet for $25 million, saying he was pressured to sign their prenup. They settled the lawsuit in 2003 for $10 million. A relationship that got a lot of attention was when she was married to her former husband, Wassam Almana. Wassam, also called Sam, was from Doha, the capital of Qatar. He oversaw the Almana Group, a big family business with 55 companies, one of which was owning all the McDonald's in Qatar. Wassam worked with his brothers and managed luxury retail brands like Harvey Nichols, Hermes, Stella McCartney, and Armani in the Middle East. He moved to West London with his family when he was two years old. After that, he went to university in Washington, and then he came back to the UK to study at the London School of Economics. By the time he was done, he held a master's degree in business administration. He wasn't in the spotlight a lot and didn't like to share much about his life but he did mention to reporters that he believed he needed to carry on his family's work by running the Almana Group business. He explained, 
My dad passed away when I was young, and I felt it was my job to keep the business going, to honor the legacy in our family name. It's in our blood. We're traitors. When I was young, I saw my dad's passport, and it said traitor as his job. Janet and Wasam met in Dubai at a hotel opening in 2010. Clearly, it was love at first sight, as they apparently spent the end of the summer holidaying in Sardinia. They got married in a private ceremony in 2012, and a very happy Wasam confessed. I'm lucky to be with my dream woman. He added that Janet was an amazing and talented woman who always surprised him. They had their first baby on January 3rd, 2017. And since religion meant a lot to them, they named their son Asa, which meant Jesus in Arabic. Asa was Janet's first child. She was 50 when she had him, and Wissam was 42. After getting together with her husband, Janet took a step back from the public eye and said to have changed to Islam. The couple split up in April 2017, just three months after having their first child. Five months after they said they were separating, Janet's older brother Randy said that she went through verbal abuse and felt trapped in her own house while she was married to her husband. Randy claimed that no pregnant woman should go through being called names like that every day. Wasam's lawyers said in a statement that their client won't address those specific hurtful claims. They mentioned that the end of his marriage with Janet Jackson saddens him greatly, and his main concern is the well-being and privacy of their son, Asa. A report also stated that Janet told the police she was afraid the businessman from Qatar might have been using drugs near the sun. A source confirmed this report, saying, the worry was that his strange behavior was connected to that. However, despite these claims, the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Office announced that there was no sign of drugs being used, and they were confused about why Jackson made the claim. Most people believe one of the reasons they divorced was because of their different religious beliefs. Wissam and Janet didn't agree on how they wanted to raise their child. Janet was, of course, more carefree than Wasam. Their different cultures and backgrounds also had a big impact. They decided that their son would be raised in London, while both of them would share parenting responsibilities. Janet herself returned to entertainment and went back on tour. According to her, she felt like she was breaking free from her old life and beginning a new chapter of her life. She noted that she was excited to reconnect with her fans and create more memorable concerts. She did point out that she did not regret her marriage with Wasam because they shared real love and had a healthy child together. Janet posted the first picture of her son when he was 14 weeks old, shortly after she and Wasam separated. The photo showed the baby yawning while Jackson gave him a kiss on the forehead. She wrote, me and my baby after a nap, as a caption for the selfie. Asa already started on his family's musical path. In a talk show in February 2020, his mother mentioned that he was showing an interest in music, having received gifts such as drum kit that he really enjoyed. Janet shared that Asa played the violin at two years old, later switched to another string instrument. It seems Asa has a love for classical music, and has even wanted to take a cello to school at some point, asking his mom to turn his violin into one. Janet has mentioned that she's fine if her son doesn't choose music and entertainment as a career. But she said about her observation of him, he does some moves like the head tilt and enjoys smooth criminal and the ooh. It's all about what he wants for his future. As a mother, Janet has ensured that Asa remains her top priority, and she has been careful about exposing him to the public eye, at least until he's old enough. Her main focus is an upbringing and well-being. Asa has a great life ahead of him, as he navigates the rich and complex worlds he has inherited from both of his parents. However, a question is, do you think Asa will be like his uncle Michael Jackson in the future? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click on the notification button to get updates on our new stories.